Okay, I'm officially leaving half of my heart in Victoria. And I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Oh, it is freezing. I'm in Victoria. Obviously, I just said that it's my car says it's 44 degrees, but my phone, my watch says it's 39 degrees. Um, so I definitely need the heat on and my butt heater on and my steering wheel heater on. And I gotta go get gas. But I figured I would open up this vlog. Talk a little bit about what we're doing this weekend. Oh, there's her stroller. My mom is taking Avery, my mom and dad, my dad is on call, so it will be my mom mostly if my dad gets called in, um, is taking Avery for the weekend so that Robbie and I can have a nice little, not really like a weekend getaway because we're still going to be staying at, sorry that the lighting is so bad, at our house. Tomorrow we're actually going to do a lot of really, really fun things. So I haven't decided just yet if this is going to be two vlogs this weekend or if it's going to be one whole vlog. I think it'll depend on what we film. Okay, so um, let me turn the TV down really fast. Do, 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 do. Ma -na, ma -na. Do, do, do. That's what we do to make a Little Miss laugh. Um, I came home and immediately pretty much went upstairs and just laid down because I was so tired. I took probably a two hour nap, probably. Cause it took me a while to go to sleep. And woke up refreshed, had some lunch with Robbie. And now I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I was just telling Robbie, I miss little miss. Like I miss her. I called my mom already to see how she was doing. She was taking a nap at the time. Turns out she popped a tooth down here. So she's just popping teeth like crazy and I don't know. As long as she's not super fussy for them though, because I know she can get really fussy when she's popping a tooth. So I think I'm gonna go upstairs and work on some videos while I have the time to do so. And then maybe come downstairs and kind of pick things up and clean a little bit before Robbie and I go on our date in about three and a half hours, I would say. So that that's all I have to say. I really have no idea what to do with myself. I just FaceTimed Little Miss because I honestly had a little cry on Robbie because I just miss her. It's only been like, not even 12 hours. It's been like eight, eight hours. hours, not even eight hours. <laughs> and I miss her like crazy. So I text my mom and I was like, mom, how could I miss her so much? So my mom FaceTimed me. She's doing great, she's happy, she's having a really good day, she took a really good nap. So it makes me happy to know that she's happy, but that doesn't mean that I miss her any less. <laughs> so. Robbie has to work for about 30 more minutes. I'm gonna go downstairs and do some tidying up, some cleaning, and then date night begins. Woo! Robbie, do you wanna tell the vlog what we're doing to spice up date night tonight? Oh gosh, that's really messy right there. Why don't you come up here? Hi. Um, what are, oh yeah, we're, uh, we're getting dinner in. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna order for each other. Mm -hmm. um, I need to put on more deodorant. Did you um, just smell your pits? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna go Christmas lights, uh, and then we need to go grab some stuff, and maybe watch a movie. Maybe. Yeah. So, anyway, I feel like this is a boring vlog. What did we vlog before Little Miss was born? What did we do before Little well, Miss was, was before born? Before pandemic. So. Well, that's true, but. Still, just in daily life, what did we do before she was born? Well, you usually like vlog weekends and stuff. Uh, that's true. Anyway, so I'm gonna go downstairs and do some cleaning. Fun, riveting, and then we will let you know. Robbie's gonna order for me, I'm gonna order for him, so we'll come back to you and show you what we decided. Robbie and I are currently, my food got here. I'm having McDonald's, which, totally not healthy, totally don't care if I know a lot of people don't like McDonald's, this man included. I love it. I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. And once again, the dog is eating. Anyway, Robbie's is on its way here. It's supposed to be here at 5.37. So we got about five minutes till it gets here. He does not know exactly what he's having just yet. He knows he's having Asian food. And we're watching Jeff Dunham, Controlled Chaos. When did this come out, Robbie? Doesn't say, but we love Jeff Dunham. We actually saw him live. When was that? 
February of last year? Uh, yeah, I think so. I want to say it was February of last year. It was your yeah. Christmas present. Yeah, it was. So, we really like him. Yep. We're just enjoying a little bit of dinner and then we got to go run some errands. Yep. Okay, Robbie. So, booger pie. Yep. With snot soup. Yeah. That'd be something my dad would say when I was growing up. He would always say, we're having booger pie for dinner. Ooh, yay. Sauce packets and a fortune cookie. Just what I wanted. Woohoo! Side note, look at how beautiful the glow from the Christmas tree is. Okay, so they did give you rice. Mm -hmm. I like the little Chinese takeout thing. Yep. I may just get a plate. So, fried rice. What's that? That's egg drop soup. Egg drop soup and... General Tso's chicken. Woohoo! Woo I'm realizing we need to get Robbie's truck detailed. It smells like dog in here. Your truck, we need to get it detailed. Why? It smells a little bit like dog. Just a hint of dog. So I don't the smell it. It's probably Shiner's leash on the floor there. Oh, honestly. you're probably right. <laughs> so we have to go really quickly to drop off Robbie's old phone. Do you mind if I do this? My phone's not synced. Okay. So we got new phones. Um, I think my unboxing will come out before this video, but it may not. So we got the iPhone 12s. So we're having a really good deal. And my phone has been jacking up. And of course, I can't get a new phone and him not get a new phone. So we got new phones. That's um, not me, by the way. Yeah, I was one that was like, just if you're even interested in it, just go get it because it's only $3 a month to get the new one. Anyway, so we have to go drop off his old phone. Mine I did like in Victoria. Watch that video because I explained the whole thing, but I ended up sending mine back. Robbie has to go take his back to the store. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go to Target and get a couple things and then we'll come back and get the dogs and let them drive around with us while we go look at Christmas lights. Sassy, what's wrong? Do you wanna, wanna go? You wanna go bye bye? I don't think she wants to go. No. You wanna stay here? <laughs> Shake if you wanna go bye bye. Shake if you want to go bye bye. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Okay, let's go bye bye. You ready to go take the pie plate and Tupperware to Josh? Yep. Safely. Safely, yes. Socially distanced. <laughs> so I think I'm going to turn this vlog into two days. Woo! <laughs> Say hello. Right now, it is now, what time is it? 11 a.m. We've got a slow start to the day. Yes. Checked in with Little Miss. She's doing great. She slept super late today. My mom must have wore her out yesterday. <laughs> anyway, so um, we had breakfast, we showered, and now I'm working on something for a little bit. He's working on something for a little bit, but we're not doing too much work because this is not what this weekend is about. I just need to do a couple thumbnails for upcoming videos. And then what are we going to do? <laughs> Ew. Oh, and we started watching Elf. Yay. <laughs> And Robbie like told me he hated that movie, but he was willing to sit down and watch it with me because he's super sweet and he actually laughed a couple times Anyway, what are we gonna go do in a second? We're gonna put up uh, We're gonna go put lights on my truck. No, and I'm on the kidding. house. I'm kidding. Yeah, we're and putting Christmas lights up. It's currently oh, This is gonna be difficult. Come on Just believe me. It is currently 49 degrees outside. So okay, I wonder if, I wonder if we can get Oh, yeah, do it on yours. Focus, focus. There we go. There we go. I'm going to finish these thumbnails. Robbie, what are you going to work on? Uh, I'm working on my app right now, actually. Um, whoop, whoop. Um, and his new laptop just shipped. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry not Christmas. getting wrapped and put under the tree. No, it's not your Christmas gift. That was something that you needed. It was yeah. a needed thing. So yeah. anyway, okay, we're going to get get working. I'm now. treating it like Christmas. It's not as Christmas. Okay, this could take a while. I'm going to explain what we're going to do in case this camera dies because there's a very large possibility that it might. My neighbor is coming outside. <laughs> huh, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So, as you can see, we have one peak over our garage. We plan on putting lights above that. We also got these really cool clips from Home Depot specifically for lights. Can you leave them up there all year long? I guess we'll find out. Then also to the right over there, your left, we're going to wrap our columns in lights and we wanna put lights across the top here, the bottom of our balcony. We are not going to attempt to put lights at the very top of our house, which would just be very, very dangerous. And I don't trust Robbie on a ladder that high. He didn't hear me say that. Come on. 
I shouldn't say we. Robbie did most of the work. I tried to do one light and got so scared I came down. <laughs> I told him I said I don't like heights unless I'm strapped into a roller coaster or a plane seat. Anyway, so we finished the peak, and then it goes all the way to the other side. We realize we still have 225 more feet of lights left, so it's starting to drizzle. But now it's kind of stopped. So we're gonna try and do these columns really quickly, and then go inside and have some warm lunch. Woohoo! Oh no! Well, it's all fine and games until the washer decides to detach itself from the drain so, to drain So what happened hose. is the, the drain hose on the back of the washer came out of the little spot where you put it. Which resulted in water filling our laundry room, which Robbie so graciously like, man, this is the cleanest I've ever seen the floor in here. But he was like mopping this. I went and got towels. We've been wringing them out. It was all the way out here, all the way over there, starting to go into the hallway by our half bath that way. It was all the way over there. So now we're gonna wring out the towels. We have the fan going. We're gonna throw the towels in the dryer, dry those tonight. And then when we come home tonight from San Antonio, we're gonna get behind the washer and dryer and get that and nice and fridge. and behind the fridge and get those nice and dry. It's just an adventure, I guess. Something like that. All right, let's get these dried. I can hear Robbie inside calling me, so I'm gonna stand right here. There's the door right there. And I'm gonna try and scare the crap out of him when he comes out of the garage. Can you hear him coming down the stairs? I think he was turning on the lights. Peep uh, the recycling we need to take out. I was risking my life to turn our Christmas lights on and you're down here <laughs> scaring me. Okay, we're here. Oh, did you just do that, Roberto? Nope. We're here. We're gonna go up the stairs. Of course, we can't show you inside, but we will definitely let you know how it is. It's called Mutiny, so it's supposed to be about a pirate ship. That's all I really know. Hopefully, hopefully Arr. we can make it out. We'll see, we've done them before by ourselves, and I think we only did one. We got out and we still had like 20 minutes to spare or something, so we'll see. Maybe we're experts, but this is supposed to be kind of a hard one. So, we're missing our crew. Oops. Well? We need to charge your battery again. Well, I have the new battery in here, but um, we went to the wrong location because the email that they sent us had both of the locations listed, but the first location is the one that I would think you would click on. Clicked on it and it took us to the wrong location. That was my fault for not looking and making sure it was the right location. Luckily, I was able to call the other location and they're getting us in, but we have to rush. So as long as we get there before 5, we're supposed to be there in less than 10 minutes and it's 6.45. So I think we're going to be okay. I mean, it's 4.45. We have to be there before 5. It's 4.45. The reason I said 6.45 is because Robbie has his clock in military time so it says 1644 or 45 anyway so sometimes we have these exciting adventures when you are married to Mallory Sarvis who doesn't look over things very easily Fine. well we kicked its butt! <laughs> we got out in 33 minutes. Now, I told you that we accidentally went to the wrong location and they told us if we got there before five that we could still do the same one. So we got to do the same one 
And not only that, but we finished it at 5.33 and our original time was from 4.30 to 5.30. So we were only three minutes late. It was, and it was fun too. Yeah, I thought it was a, lot, a of lot of fun. I think I really like this location. Yeah. And the um, escape game down in downtown San Antonio. Yeah, that one's so, a lot of fun. They they go all out. They down do there. go all out. Yeah, it's there. This one does too, but the other one always has like two rooms, and you have to kind of like find puzzles to get the second room open. Do you have a cut on your hand? Yeah, apparently I do. Yeah. So we want to do the hardest one. This was like four out of five hard, and the one that they were going to put us in if they couldn't get us into mutiny was five out of five hard. I think we could handle it, but I want to bring our friends too. Yeah. Anyway, now to figure out exactly what we want for dinner. So we'll come back to you when we make that decision. Okay, so we've had dinner. We had Luciano, or Luciano's. Mm, that was Luciano. pretty good. We shared a plate like lovers do. Right, Roberto? Yep. Then, cool. oh no. Okay, cool. Then, we went to, I needed to go to Old Navy so I could get some, I can get Robbie some uh, matching pajama bottoms to Little Miss and I because they were out of stock online, which was really weird. But, anyway... Um, I don't know if they're men's or women's or not. I'll have to have him try them on when we get home, but I couldn't find like a men's section. So I just bought them with the rest of the stuff. I mean, they're pajama bottoms. I think they should be unisex, but hopefully they fit his badonkadonk. Then we came to Bass Pro Shop so we could get some hand warmers because in Texas it is currently, the truck says 52 degrees, but my watch says 48. Either way, we're Texans and it's bloody cold. So, we are going to have our hand warmers. We're ready to go. Now we're on our way for the tour. Aren't you so excited? Woo! Robbie is so excited to get the pants scared off of him by the ghosts in this ghost tour. So, and we're allowed to film, so I will be able to show you parts of it. And I have a new battery that's fully charged. So, get ready for some spooky stuff. To walk towards the chapel. But then, six shadowy figures appear and draw long swords and shout, Depart! Touch not these walls! <laughs> Needless to say, the Mexican soldados ran in for their lives and thus stays the chapel in this place today. Now huh. listen folks, I don't expect y'all to believe that, but don't take my word for it. There are many people who have stayed in the Hyatt Regency behind us, and Emily Morgan over there, who have said that they too have seen six shadowy figures on quieter nights. So good luck tonight, not gonna happen. Uh, if you count the number of floors on this hotel, you will see that there are 13 of them. Ooh. Now, if you ask for a room on the 13th floor, they won't give you one. They'll give you a key card for a room on the 14th floor, but the ghosts aren't full. You change the number, it's still one, two, three, four, five, six. It's still 13, okay? Now, as if that's not bad luck enough, the 13th floor was the sanitarium. Yeah. That's not where they clean stuff. Mm -hmm. That is where they put crazy people. That's right. And many people have heard cussing, screaming, yelling, and not just from the guests up there. Seen oh. orderlies pushing patients down the hall. The 12th floor used to be the old surgical floor. That's right. Where they've seen ghosts pushing other ghosts down the halls on gurney. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And worst of all, anybody work in a hospital? No? Ever been to a hospital? Smell that very heavy antiseptic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so apparently many people have complained about that on the 12th. And we are back and on our way home. We're closing off this vlog. I stopped videoing a lot of what he was saying because it was it was a two, almost two and a half hour long tour. Um, but we loved it. We thought it was really, really good. And I would definitely go back and take friends and family to do it too. Maybe not during Corona. Yeah, maybe not during coronavirus. There's just a lot of people downtown that weren't wearing masks and it was just kind of like, oh, come on people. So anyway, um, but I showed the first portions and things like that, but I will tell you that as we got farther and farther into the tour, it got darker and darker history-wise, like story-wise. Some of them were just like, ugh. But the guy that was, the tour guide was amazing and he did a really good job of like, kind of 
lightning things, if that makes any sense. So we had a great time. I think it's yeah. been a great weekend, but we both miss Avery so much. So we want to thank you guys so much for watching this little vlog. So Christmassy. <laughs> Here's a creepy story about ghosts, but Merry Christmas. So until next time, we love you all and God bless you. Say goodnight, Robbie. Good night, Robbie. Oh, shout out to Captain Dan with Sisters Grin. Oh yes. Ghost Tours. If you're anywhere near San Antonio or you are vacationing to San Antonio, Sisters Grim with Dan, Captain Dan was amazing. So Thinking about what's happened to me from July